everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. to squeeze in here carefully because there's a uh, little baron down here next to me. So hi, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I hope you enjoyed day one. I didn't show you my bag of the day yesterday, which was the Coach Emery. This is the small size. And I paired that with this Coach chain leather strap, which has this little Rexy charm on it. This one is in gold. I have another one in gunmetal and that one I think is on sale right now so I'll link that below. I love this strap. It is so comfortable and so pretty and so well made and it looks great with a black bag with gold hardware and who doesn't have a bunch of those right? This bag is fabulous. It's very comfortable to wear. I would say the only thing about it and this is just a crossbody bag thing is when I wear bags crossbody and tell me if this happens to you that instead of staying over here on my shoulder it rides up against my neck and that gets really annoying to me that I have to keep a adjusting it and I feel like I'm being choked a little bit. So let me tell you the pros and cons of this bag. I love the size. If you want a small size bag, this is fabulous. It's comfortable. It's very well made. I'm going to take this strap and I'm going to put it on today's bag of the day, which is this little mock croc camera bag, which will also be a crossbody with the coach strap on it. I added this black tassel. This bag was made in Italy. It was sent to me. It, it's unbranded and it was sent to me by a company that makes nice quality things, a lot of which are in Italy. Maybe all of them are in Italy. I'll give you a better peek of the inside there. I don't remember the name of the company and I know that they changed their name at some point. So sorry about that. As much as I love this bag and the size, and it seems like it's a really practical bag, I have only carried it a couple of times. So I definitely want to carry it today and see if there's a reason that I haven't carried it because I haven't carried it in a long time and I don't remember why. Do you guys tend to have some bags that you just go for because they're just your go-to? I also have a package here that I want to open with you. This is from Chanel. This is what I picked up from the package lockers yesterday. I also got a package in the mail from Devin Christopher and I'm going to wait for Christmas to open that. All right, here we go. Chanel and how pretty is this. I've never had their holiday packaging before. It has this little ribbon on it, which I thought was elastic, but it is not. Even Chanel Beauty has beautiful packaging. There's the little sticker on it and nice sturdy boxes that you can reuse, which I certainly enjoy doing. This, if I remember correctly from last year, should be my samples. This is all just stuffing fluff. This is the item that I got. By the time I ordered this last week, they only had, I think, two samples left, so I didn't really have a choice in which two I got. Okay, inside the little pouch, which are also reusable, great little things. I like to have it in my bag and put jewelry in it, like if I need to take earrings or a bracelet off or something. This is La Mousse Cleansing Cream to Foam. It starts out as a cream and it becomes a foam. It's magic. Is that in focus? It's difficult for me to tell. It's the Hydra Beauty Camellia Repair Mask. It says it's a multi-use, hydrating, comforting mask. I usually get my foam face wash from Aveda and I've been really happy with that, but I'm willing to try the Chanel one. Why not? Now the item I actually ordered, I've been wanting this for a while and Vlogmas is a great excuse to get it. It's this little black tube. It says Chanel there. It's just black all the way around and then it has the Chanel logo. And when you take the lid off, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. It is inside. There we go. This is how it works. It's the retractable Kabuki brush, uh, makeup brush. So, oh, it's nice and soft. That's good. I was wondering how when you pull it back down, is it gonna pull bristles with it? Oh gosh, it's so soft. That's nice. It looks like it's really clean. I see maybe one bristle that's getting out of place. How nice. There we go ingenious design. The reason that I wanted this is for when I'm out vlogging and I need to retouch my makeup, especially when we're wearing masks. You know, the foundation, all I wear is a powder foundation to even out skin tone and reduce shine in the videos. And when you take the mask off or if you've had the makeup on all day, you know, it fades and 
comes off. So I wanted to have a brush that I could put a lid on and that was small, compact in my purse so I can do touch-ups. There we go, this was $60. You can get brushes like this much cheaper from other places, but of course I had to have the Chanel one. And I wanted to go ahead and open this instead of saving it for Christmas so I can start using it during Vlogmas. The tea that I made this morning is the tea that Gwenny gave me last year for Christmas. And I'm using my Hermes Mosaic and Platinum teacup and saucer. And if you've never seen my Vlogmas before, that amazing tea maker, is by Breville and I will link it below. My toaster oven is also by Breville and we have been loving that since we got it about a year or so ago. They're both fabulous and it makes me want to buy more Breville things. So I will link them both below for you because you need them in your life too. Trust me. It's morning advent calendar time. I know people are gonna ask about this necklace because it's amazing. Is that not fabulous? It's a little fox or wolf or something like that. And I can't help you because I don't remember where I got it. It was some store in a mall. It was like six bucks or something years and years and years ago. And it's held up amazingly well for what it is. But I'm sorry, I can't tell you where to get it. Let's do the kindness calendar. Look who's decided to join us when, now that the advent calendars have come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, door number two is right here. It has a rainbow bench on it, which is relevant to today's topic. Do you know why there are rainbow colored benches called buddy benches at schoolyards and playgrounds all around the world? The idea, which originated in Germany, is that children who are lonely can sit on them to signal to others they would like someone to play with or talk to. Mission three, why don't you try something similar? For example, ask a coworker or a fellow student who seems lonely if they want to join you for coffee or lunch. That's really difficult to do as a teacher and also during a pandemic, not happening. Mission number four, write a list of things you appreciate about one of your friends and give it to them. That I can do. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna have you guys vote on which friend I should do this for. Should it be Yota Style? Should it be Winnie B. L. V.? Should it be Gwenny? Should it be Dale? Or should it be Devin? Cast your ballots in the description box below. So that means I won't be doing this mission today. I'll wait for your votes to come in and then I'll do it when I have them. So maybe day four, maybe I'll wait till the weekend when I have more time. I don't know. It'll be soon though. And that's a great one. I love that idea and I think, you know, besides the whiskey calendar, this might be my favorite calendar this year. However, it is not Roxy's favorite calendar. By the way, here's the little bear who was sleeping next to me. Hi, sweetheart. You're a good boy. All right, it's time for jam or honey. There are also honeys in here. Door number two. Some of these are so difficult to open. I have to put the camera down and use two hands. Another jam. They've packaged these well. This is a seedless raspberry spread. That sounds good. And for my do-it-myself advent calendar, I'm also gonna open number two today because I know what it is and I need to prep it for this evening. What could it be? That looks like a Sugarfina box, doesn't it? Spoiler alert though, it's not. Number two is this giant box. It is ice molds. This has spherical and, trying to find the picture of the molds, spherical and square molds. I already have these spherical ones from the same company, but this one broke. And it's kind of difficult to get the ice out of here because it's hard plastic on one side. It's easier with the silicone. Sorry, that was out of focus for a minute there. And these molds are all silicone, so I think they'll be easier to use. Got this at TJ Maxx for $10. and have my breakfast now while I watch Dale's Vlogmas Day 1. And I'm very envious that she has the Henry Bendel Nutcracker. I think you guys know. If you have watched my Vlogmas in previous years that I love Nutcrackers, I have a little Nutcracker collection. That would be a fantastic addition to it. I had the chance to buy that when they were still in business and I didn't. It was a little expensive as I recall. But now I wish I had one. I decided on just one piece of toast today because I'm really not that much of a toast person. And I realized that I didn't want to use the whole jar for some reason because I want to save some for later. I, I don't know, that's weird of me, I guess. And and dividing half the jar between two pieces of bread, you couldn't really taste the jam that well. So this is half a jar on this piece of toast. And then more of that Chobani cherry Greek yogurt. Bye, Roxy. Bye, Baron. I'll see you when I get home from work. Bye, bird on a swing. Bye, Vincent. Are you having fun? I'll see you later. Bye. Hello.
Hello. Hi, Roxy. Hello. Hi, beautiful. Where is your brother? There he is. There's my boy. Hello, Roxy. Why am I being jumped upon? Come on, Roxy. Good girl. Well, I made it home after a long day at work. I've been up since 3 a.m., worked from about 8 to 4. I have a surprise for you. Unfortunately, I can't share anything in here with you because it's all gifts. But I went to visit Becca. How oh, are you very interested in this? Super interested. There's nothing in here for you, I'm afraid. She gave me the VIP treatment, let me tell you. I got a lot of wonderful things, but like I said, I can't share them because they're gifts. I got to sample a few of the Frank Gehry bottle perfumes with that fancy silver top. They were lovely. I have the names of them here in my bag of the day. I tried Symphony and Stellar Times Atrape Rev because Winnie and Yota said that was their favorite. Do you like it? That's the symphony. What about these? What do you think of those? They smell nice. If you've never been to Louis Vuitton and tried the perfumes, they have these little cards and they do a spritz on there and you can smell them and write the name of the perfume that's on there. The symphony is very nice. I like that one. That's one that's being considered for purchase. Grapefruit was the main note. So I don't feel like I'm great at smells, but I feel like I'm getting better at it. I'm trying to. I'm great at describing smells. And I'm not sure about the, the bottom ones. It's definitely more than grapefruit. And it's it's similar to the, oh gosh, what is the one that I like so much? I'll have to put it in the description box. I don't remember. But it's another citrusy one. And it's, it's not that bright, fruity, sweet-ish kind of citrus. It's more like the peel. So it's a deeper, not bitter, a more dense scent. Stellar Times in the store smelled to me like bubblegum. I'm not getting that now. It's smelling a little bit more like imagination, which has a note that again is difficult to describe. The websites will do a better job of describing these for you, the descriptions on the websites, but it's like wine. You can describe a wine, but that doesn't mean that that's what you're gonna taste. And it's the same thing with the perfumes. And the Atrape Rev is nice, but it's not for me, I don't think. It's not one I would buy. Of these three, Symphony is my favorite. I also got to try the Cosmic, which was nice, but also probably not for me. Oh, here's another card. Yeah, this is Cosmic. Actually, that's nice, but I still like Symphony better. It was easier for me to wear than the Coach Emery that I wore yesterday because it wasn't quite as fussy. I do wish that it had an outside pocket because I was reaching in and out for my phone quite a bit. I had to leave it open for that reason, leave it unzipped. But this is how it looks inside. I've got a lot of things in it, but there's still plenty of room for more. I have this MAC Studio Fix powder. This is what Winnie got me after I was, I did a vlog a couple months ago and I was asking for recommendations for a new powder because the one that I had been using, they changed the formula and it was terrible. And then I've also been carrying around my little Chanel Kabuki brush. I used it before I went into the Galleria. So you can see that it's got some powder color on it there. What is the best way to clean a brush like this? Could someone please enlighten me because I have no idea. I have several things on the little table next to me. One of which is the drink that Paul just made me. We will still have some whiskey in a minute, but I wanted to share this with you because it's a local business. But this company, it's they make vodkas and gins. What is it called? Dripping Spring vodka distillery, I believe. They're in Dripping Springs, Texas, which is a little north of Wimberley, that place I've done some vlogs on this year. They've been closed because of COVID, but before COVID, we were able to go there and try their tasting, taste their vodkas and their gins. And they have several of these mixers and we don't usually like mixers, but theirs are actually really good. And you can get them at Central Market and at Kroger in Houston. And I'm not sure about maybe HEB or other places, but it's fabulous. I have a few unboxings here. I don't know what all of these are, so we're gonna find out together. This is a leather hole punch. So if you need a hole punched into your belt, or in my case, into a crossbody handbag strap that is a little bit too short, I got this off Amazon and I will link it below. I have a bag I'll show you at some point over Vlogmas that is new to my collection and I just need it to be a little longer so I got this for it. Also have something from Macy's. It's a top that was on sale, the Black Friday sale. Oh, it's very soft. I'll do a try on later with this maybe tomorrow. And I have this box which is package number two from yesterday where the door didn't open. I got a code today that I received a package. When I got home and checked, 
It was this one, the box from Williams Sonoma. What did I get? What did I get? If you've been paying attention, I bet you can guess. Well, surprise, surprise, it's Williams Sonoma hot chocolate. This is the peppermint flavor, another peppermint flavor, and the regular flavor, which is chocolate, of course. When I was at the Galleria, I did take a bunch of pictures in the store. I will be able to show you those over the next couple of days, but they're not gonna make it into today's vlog because I simply will not have time to get the video edited and get all the pictures in, which takes a lot of time by the time this needs to be published and also manage to sleep and eat. I didn't even eat dinner last night. I was so exhausted. I worked yesterday from 3 a.m. to 8 p.m. and then I just had to stop and go to bed and not even have dinner because I was that tired. But that's all right, I could stand to miss a few meals. Speaking of, I think it's time for the advent calendar. I'm a little hesitant to drink this because I don't want to ruin my palate for the whiskey. Let's get to the calendars. First, the caramels. Baron, did you seriously just lick the box? Little weirdo. Door number two. You two need help. They're like, yeah, help reaching the caramels. Baron, I'm trying to focus the camera and not hold it so you can lick it, Bear. Okay, this says chocolate peppermint. That sounds good. I may have that tomorrow with my peppermint hot chocolate instead of with the whiskey. I think that might be more appropriate. And speaking of whiskey, door number two. The Woodsman, a blended Scotch whiskey, another Scotch whiskey. Interesting. I'm curious to see how that compares to the one yesterday and if it also smells like tequila. As mentioned, I'm drinking about half the bottle at a time so that I can taste things together. So I'll definitely taste these two together at some time in the future. But right now it's time for this one. They're not quite spherical. I think I didn't fill them up enough. I have to be careful dropping that in because one of the other round ice cubes I just dropped into one of my Waterford crystal glasses once and it cracked the whole thing. So I'm very gentle now. That broke off again. These things are useless. Hmm. Yeah, it has that same flavor. So that must be something with the scotch part of it. I need to look up what the difference is between scotch and whiskey. By the way, so much enthusiasm about the whiskey calendar from day one. I'm glad. I didn't know if y'all would be interested in that or not. I will announce the whiskey winner. If you saw day one, you know what I mean. I'll announce that in day three. It's good, but I'm not convinced at the moment that scotch whiskey is something that I would go and search for and purchase. But it's also just not what I'm used to, so it could be an acquired taste for me. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Is there anything else I need to do? Oh, one second. I can't believe I almost forgot this. Roxy? Baron? Are you ready for a cookie? Baron, not too interested. Maybe he's just super serious about his cookies. Hello. Aren't you gonna come in the chair? All right, I've got them in the chair so we can see them better. We know now that we need our trusty green thing. This is not a cookie. This is just the cutter. Don't drop it and we won't be able to get your cookies. Roxy, are you gonna find door number two? Nope. You gonna let me do all the work? I believe I found it right there. What do we think, guys? Ooh, what's in there? One, two, three. Uh-oh. There are three cookies and two doggies. Back off, lady. Here's one. Here's two. Good boy. Just noticed they're shaped like gummy bears, but they absolutely are not gummy bears. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. You have to split this one with your brother. You can have the gummy bear's head, and you can have its body, and part of my fingers. We do still have one other box, you know. There we are. She's not usually so, excuse me, so bold with the treats. It's usually barren, as you saw. Hey, as you saw with my toast yesterday. Here you go. Here you go, bear. Good boy. Oh no, we've run into the same problem. We have three cookies left. We're gonna have to wait for Baron to come back, Roxy. Here you go, Baron. Ah, my fingers. I have to break this one in half. Here you are, darling, and Baron. Thank you. What do you think, Roxy? I have to say I'm very impressed with this advent calendar so far. Again, it's Himalayan Pet Supply. They are still available. I think they were only about $17 each. The reason that I didn't do the one that I did last year, which was also a great one, is because 
I feel like they were 30 or 40 dollars last year and they nearly doubled in price and I just wasn't gonna pay that much for dog treats. But I thought these were very reasonably priced and they've had so many treats. It's quite a lot for them. It's practically a whole meal. You can skip dinner now, right? Oh, I have a surprise. Please hold. All right, I have Paul here for you. Hello, everyone. And I have a surprise for Paul. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What kind of surprise? A good one. You're gonna love it. Really? Uh-huh. I got a new dog. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't the surprise I was thinking about. <laughs> I got you your very own advent calendar for Vlogmas. It says chocolatier. And that's the best word in the universe. Tomorrow I will explain to the people why you didn't get this yesterday. So now since it's day two you get to open two doors and have two pieces of chocolate. But for the rest of the month until Christmas you're going to have to restrain yourself and only have one piece of chocolate per day. One per day? Mm-hmm. That's it. You ready to open doors one and two? Yes. Here's door number one. And here we go. Okay. Roxy thinks it's for her. It's look, not. look, look, wait. Let me take the whole thing out with my big fingers. I bet I know what's inside. Let me guess. Peanuts. <laughs> So what taste do you got? it and let us know how it tastes. Mm. Roxy's jealous. It's all good and walnutty. So it's chocolate with walnutty stuff. Door number two is where is it? There it is. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a marble. Is it a chocolate marble? See, this is where I need tweezers. Look at that. I don't know whether to eat it or photograph it. By the way, this is from Lauderock, which is that chocolate place at the outlets that we took you the day we did the Halloween thing at the winery. They were really good. They were. Okay, let's see what this looks like, tastes right. like. I can't place what's inside. I don't know what's inside of it. It's good. Sounds like me trying to describe perfume. It's like it's more milk chocolate or something inside. You mean this little crust um, like a like creme brulee on the top where you mm. burn it that might be the creme brulee one then okay here we go it's down the hatch look at those poor sad dogs mm. all the really cool people like chocolate <laughs> she just looked at the camera <laughs> does that mean i'm cool i have a question for you do you happen to know the difference between whiskey and a scotch whiskey. A scotch whiskey is made in Scotland. This is the day one one. Mm -hmm. Open the lid and tell me what it smells like. Don't taste it though. You know, my nose isn't like yours. This should be something you recognize though if you smell it the same way that I did. Oh my gosh. Does it smell familiar? Yeah, but... Being the king of margaritas, it should... Uh... Tequila? I think it, t it smells like tequila. I guess it does, yeah. I mean... Okay, I was not wrong. And I know everybody's gonna think I'm just saying that because you said tequila, but... Well, I said margarita. Yeah, but honestly, it does smell like tequila. Is there some conspiracy going on that, that scotch is really just tequila with a different name? There's something dark going on here. The aftermath of the advent calendars. Dogs on a chair. One of you called my vlogmas dogmas and i think that's the most perfect and funny thing ever thank you so much for joining me for vlogmas day two tomorrow is going to be a weird day i don't know quite what to expect we ha I'm, I'm taking the day off work because i had something planned that was a serious thing and that's not happening now i will tell you about that tomorrow so we're coming up with tomorrow's plan on the seat of our pants. Join me back, Roxy. She's trying to get into the doors of the dog advent calendar. It's not day three yet, darling. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys, and happy vlog-a-days. Is that a thing? It is now.